Hello, I am here today to help teach you how to take a lengthy list of keywords or cells and combine them into one cell. Uh, I use this a lot in digital strategy, search engine optimization, playing with keywords and things like that, but I can see this being a benefit for a lot of different uh, uses. So what we're going to do first is, in the first one, I'm going to show you the way to do it where you have no spaces and, and no commas first. So what I would type in is equal and transpose open parentheses. Go ahead and highlight everything in your list that you want to highlight. The quick way of doing this is hitting control shift down um, or if you don't if you can't remember that ever you can always go and go ahead and highlight everything. So before you push enter at this stage we're going to hit F9. We see that all of our information was pulled in so we need to go ahead and add the concatenate formula before we hit enter. We're going to erase that first curly back bracket and do an open parentheses. Go ahead and go to the end. I'm just clicking the end button and uh, right, and it keeps taking me to the end. We're going to erase that last, the op or the closed curly bracket, and put in the open curly bracket, and then we can push enter to widen our cell. And we can see it was all pulled in, which is a good thing. But I don't have any spaces. I don't have any commas. Uh, so it's good information, and it may help for certain purposes. But for mine, I want to go ahead and get a space in there and a comma. So I'll basically do the same formula, but during that first transpose stage, I'm going to add a little bit extra. So let's go over here, click the first cell, control shift down, we have everything, closed parentheses, and at the end we're going to add an ampersand, open quote, comma, space, I kind of jumped in there by itself, uh, so make sure that space is there. You won't have the space when you're when you're done. And then cl close parentheses. From here again, we're not pushing enter. We're pushing F9. Everything gets pulled back in. At the very beginning, again, we would type concatenate. Replace the curly with a parentheses. And don't forget to do it at the end as well. Now we can push enter. And we should have all of our spaces and our commas between our words. One more step that I usually do is... This is great, all our information is there, but it's a formula. So when you start sending things between people, uh, formulas can get messed up, they can get changed, especially when you're sending it to a client and they don't understand how that all of that information was pulled together in a formula. So what I usually do is I go ahead and control C or copy, and a new window or where I'm actually sharing the information, I would then uh, click on a cell, right click, and paste with the values only, which is the little clipboard with the one, two, three. And what that does is instead of having the formula, it just has all the words. So unless somebody actually deletes that, there's not the chance of messing up the cell and losing all of those keywords. I hope this helps with some of your Excel uh, combining of keywords and, and whatnot. And if you have any suggestions or any other videos you'd like to see for, for tips in Excel, just leave a comment below. Thank you.